Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Diecast Buffet, and it's time for race 23 out of 36 in our NASCAR 2003 season mode. Let's play. And we're going back to the Pepsi 400. No, it's actually at Michigan, where we won at. So, we won the Pepsi 400 at the Daytona National Speedway, which was the uh, night race there. So we won that one, but we also won at Michigan. So it's literally the best of both worlds. We have had an awful last two weeks. We won two races in a row. We went to, Br to the Brickyard. We went to Watkins Glen. We both finished miserable. They're miserable. We lost probably 150 points. It's it's it, it's it's bad. It's bad. So um, I'm looking forward to Michigan. We have Richmond coming up in a few weeks as well. Let's go look at the standings. <laughs> oh my God, bro! So we're outside of the top ten. All that work we put in. And I think this officially seals it. I don't. I don't think we're in the championship hunt anymore. I think we are officially out of it. I think if you're gonna win the championship hunt, you need to be within 350. And yeah, as you can see, me and Rudd are been going at it. So it's a shame. I don't think we're having a shot at this championship. But you know, 13 races ago, I just don't see it happening. Thurman Marlin has been. Man, he is just. just Perfect, man. Him and Mark Martin are the most consistent drivers all year long. Uh, the schedule. Uh, let's see. So we, well, Obviously, we're going to Michigan. And then we got the Sharpie 500, the Bristol Night Race. That should be fun. And then we got the Mountain Dew Southern 500. And then we got Richmond. So we got some short track races coming up. And then we got the big one, you know, the Southern 500, the last crown jewel of the year. But... We're on the Michigan, and I know we can win this race. I, I know we have the fastest car. We are the favorite, and um, we're going to race the normal colors, man. We're going to go out there, and we're going to try to work. We're, we're going to go win this race. We're going to go win this race. Let's go to Michigan. All right, folks, so we are, we are on pole again. <laughs> so Michigan is looking like it's going to be another win. Let's hope so. Let's send down the pre-race ceremonies. Welcome everyone to Michigan International Speedway for MRN's coverage of the Pepsi 400. Michigan always produces some great racing. What do you think, Barney? This track is wide and fast. We may even see some guys go three and even four wide. There are several grooves to choose from here at Michigan. Jeff Burton had a great run in qualifying this week. Well, the extra time that team spent on qualifying this week makes all the difference. I think they should spend extra time every week. Maybe it would help improve their average starting spot. Matt Kenseth, who's currently in the top ten in points, will try to reach that next step, the top five. He's been working hard this season, and it is paying off so far. You'll need a good finish in this one to gain some spots. Scott Wemmer is having some trouble in the points this year. Now, those guys have been working so hard this year. Shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. Engines are fired. The front row could not be any more fitting. It's Sterling Marlin and Jeff Burton. I believe our championship uh, hopes are gone now. And we could not give up what we did at uh, Watkins. We gave up way too much points, so it don't matter if we have a max point stay here or not. But what's important, though, is we're going to go out there and we're going to go make as much noise as we can. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to go out there and just, just tear it up, man. We're just going to go out there and win as much races as we can because I just don't think we have the championship anymore. I think we, we missed our opportunity, but guess what? We can go out there. We can go win some races, man. We can make a difference. All right, Sterling Martin looks like he's going to get off to a good restart or start the race, actually, but we'll catch back up to him. This is the same thing that happened in the June Michigan race, but we do have a hot rod, folks. I know we do. Let me get up to the front and I'll prove it. Get out of my way, Junior. How in the world is Todd Bodine out here? Running, what, third? Is there a Martin? 
leads lap one in the Pepsi 400 here at Michigan International Speedway. Here comes the hot rod of the Sitco 99 Ford Taurus. We won this race earlier in the summer, and I think we can win this one. And in fact, we're going to win this race. We are going to win this race. You know, the championship hopes, I think, have faded. I, I, I Again, we could not give up the points we did at the Brickyard 400 and at the Watkins Glen Road Course. But, so I think we have to look forward to now is just trying to get as much points as we can for the top five. But more, I'm not really worried about points anymore. I'm worried about winning races. That's what I want. I want to go get 10 wins this season. We have, we have seven wins so far. I want to get 10 wins. I think we'll win this race, and I think we can win Richmond, which means that should be, what, nine wins. So if we can pull one out at maybe Texas or Las Vegas, that'd be great as well. So we're going to be we're going to be bringing a lot better car at a much better car at Atlanta Motor Speedway, uh, Texas, and at, uh, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. So that'd be three interesting races there. We won at Chicago Land, so if we use the same type of setup there, we could pull one away. But no question, our car is fast here at Michigan, fast, and it's just you know it's one of those deals. We try to go out there and just finish strong. My thinking is if we can get a, a big enough lead away from Sterling Marlin, we'll be able to have a good pit stop and we'll be able to take four tires and be able to come out with the lead again. But the key is we have to build a huge lead though to be able to retain the lead when we get off pit road. So that's why I'm pushing this car as much as I can to just, just absolutely just run away from them. This car is absolutely fast. I just hope we can be able to win this race. I really want to, you know. I'm really disappointed about the point situation, how we're, I don't think we're going to be able to have it. Because we got to think about it. We're like, what, 12 races away from the end of the season. I just don't see us making up 400 points. You know, I just don't see it. Because, I mean, when we, even when we win races and get max points, we're only making maybe 50 points up. There's no way we're going to win six more races with all max points. Now, if Sterling Marlin and Jeff Gordon and all these other cats have, you know, really bad days and, you know, just DNF, then we have a great opportunity. But Sterling Marlin has been, his, he has been the silver bullet, just like his sponsor. He has been a bullet all year long, just tough as a tank, has just not had the DNFs. Gordon has hit, hit some troubles. I mean, we see how quickly Jeff Gordon would, uh, was out of it, but I just I just don't think we're gonna have this championship. I just don't think it, I think it's out of the picture now. I think we have to start looking for just wins and just trying to finish as strong as we can. But that's okay, you know. We 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 get it, heck, you know. We we really tried really hard all season long, but we still got you know a lot of races left. We got 12 races, but anything can happen. I'm not ruling out, but realistically, I think the point situation is over. I'm just going to go out here and just try to win as much races as I can. Try to make as much noise. You know, it's really crazy how a team can go and win, like, eight wins. If we win this, we'll have our eighth win, and we're not even the top five in points. It has been feast or famine for the Sitco team. And that's generally how it is for these NASCAR games. Like, if, if I'm at a racetrack that I'm really good, I'm really good. But if I go to a racetrack I'm not good at, I'm really bad. It's, it's either I win or I wreck. That's pretty much how my NASCAR video game stuff goes. It's either I win... By Rick. So we're just gonna go out here and just try to have a good one. Halfway in fuel, uh, lap eight out of twenty. Cars handling really good. I mean, these Fords have been fast all year long, and when you think about it, Roush Fenway has, or Roush Racing actually, uh, has, has won a crap load of races this year. I, I forget how many um, races we've won. I'll have to go back and look at it, but uh, let's see. I know, uh, let's see, Kurt Busch wins the 500. Mark Martin wins the 600. We win, We have seven wins, so that's at least nine wins. And I think Mark Martin um, won one extra race. I don't know. I'll have to look at that. But um, we sh if I win this race, then I, I put us up at ten wins this season for Roush. That's crazy. To get ten wins in a season, that's crazy. So I'm going to try to give it to him. And we have Richmond coming up, and our car was so fast there, man. It was the fastest car we've had all year long at Richmond. And, you know, Bristol, if we can figure it out, Bristol, we might have a good shot. But we got Martinsville coming up. We won at Martinsville, and that we, we should have not we should have not won that race. That race was absolutely 
terrible, and it was the luckiest race I've ever seen on a, on one of these Thunder games. It was crazy. Everyone, like, they pitted. Five laps later, they pitted again. Like, I, I have no clue how the AI could even have a glitch to make them do that. I, I, I don't know. The only thing I could think of is that they pitted a lap or two before their actual pit window or something. And the AI was like thinking, you know, their system saying, oh, we're going to be short so they wouldn't pit it, pit it again. That's the only thing I could think of. I have no clue. I don't really think there was any cautions either that could have, could have screwed it up or jumbled it up. So I think it was legit just a bug. Whatever it is, it got us the win at Martinsville. It was crazy. It was either going to be me or Jimmy Spencer. So luckily it was us. All right, so... If we leave one more lap, we'll be able to have the max point stay. Right now we're pulling away, so that's great. I think we're going to go ahead and come in and get some tires. Get some fuel. And then sit it back out there. So we just got to leave one more lap, and we have the max point stay opportunity available. We can have all the bonus points you can get. Alright, we're going to come on down pit road. No damage repair, no damage on the race car. Okay. Four tires, two cans, of fuel. We should be good. So yeah, we just gotta leave one more lap and we will have the max points. But then again, we still have to win the race. And the person who leads this lap, who's leading right now, uh, actually no, we don't have to. We have to lead uh, two more because Sterling Marlin led the first lap. So yeah, we will have to lead at least two more. I think we'll figure it out. Come on, good pit stop. 15.2, there we go. Great pit stop. Alright. Why are we mowing the yard? Okay. So now we just gotta get back around and hope we can get back up into the top spot, which I think we will. We had a maybe like a 30 or 40 car gap on Sterling Marlin, who was second last time I know. So we, we should be good. I mean, we were outrunning them on old tires, so that just shows how fast our car is here in Michigan. Okay, we're already to 14th. I just love just revving that engine up. 201 into the corners. Gotta love it. Let's see, everyone's on the pit road, so we should be able to get the lead back here. I mean,. I don't know how much of a gap we'll have on second place, but one thing's for sure, we're going to have a gap on them, though. I mean, we're running full song and they're on pit road. I mean, it's Sterling Marlin, who's second still. But we're back up the front. Just lead a few laps, and we'll have this bonus point opportunity locked up. I mean, look at the gap we have on second place. It's ridiculous. They're not even at full song yet, and we're still gapping them. So... Literally, the only way uh, they'll be able to catch us is with a caution. You're absolutely the fastest car on the racetrack. Can I take lap 15? It's looking pretty good for the 99 team. We should be able to win this. I mean, again, Sterling Marlin being so consistent he is, it ain't going to matter in the points. I mean, we're still going to be deep in the points. Because he's been so consistent, just top five, top five, top five, top five. I mean, you just can't gain anything on him. And it's crazy. The guy only has, like, one win this season. I mean, it's literally 2003 Matt Kenseth. Goes out there, doesn't win a single race, and wins the championship because he was just that consistent. I mean, you can even look at uh, 2014 with Ryan Newman. Uh, he was the most consistent driver 
in the playoffs, and he survived all the rounds. He got to the Final Four, and he was, what, second to Kevin Harvick that race? So, I mean, imagine if they had one more caution, and he could have got to him, you know? So, I mean, Ryan Newman almost pulled the 2003 Matt Kenseth. Well, actually, he probably would have won that race, to be honest. He would have probably won that race, but still, same concept, you know, just being so consistent. And that's pretty much what uh, Storm Martin is doing right now. And that's just logging laps at this point, trying to get as much much distance as we can on um, Southern Marlin, but I mean, I, I remember, I think this race, if I remember correctly, I mean, which race was it? Was it, um, was it Chicago, or was it the other Michigan race? I don't know. I remember um, someone running this down. I think it was at Chicago where, um, was it Marlin? Marlin or uh, Martin Martin? I, I don't remember. But one of them, they were running this down pretty well in the closing lap, so... I've noticed the, the second half of these races that they're actually a whole lot more fast, or a whole lot faster, so we really have to kind of just step it up, I mean, the gap, I mean, we're pretty much a quarter of a corner of in distance, or about half a straightaway away, so again, a caution is their only way of catching us, if not, if we don't have an issue, but if a caution comes out now, the race would probably go ahead and end up a caution as it is, so it, it's looking really good for the team. Just nice and smooth, just a few more laps left here in the Pepsi 400. It's crazy, you win two Pepsi 400s in a season? That'd be crazy. And see if we can try to finish this race with no damage. It's very rare, though, in these NASCAR review games that you can finish a race with no damage. I mean, that's very, very, very rare. White flag next time around. We're good on fuel, good on tires, cars in good shape. Huge lead, we don't even have to push it much. And the one thing we will get this year is we will be the lap champion, I think. I think we have like a solid 50 or 40 uh, lap lead, and we're only adding to that over Sterling Marlin. And the way Sterling Marlin runs, he doesn't win races, he just runs really good. But um, we'll be able to get the lap champion this year, I believe, which is pretty cool. Considering most of these races are only like 20, 25 laps long, if we have a 60 to 70 point, uh, or not point, but lap uh, lead over him, that means he has to go out there and lead three or four full races just to catch us. So I think we have that one pretty well locked up. I don't know how we are in the Manufacturers Championship. I imagine with Ford winning so many races, we should be good. I, I, yeah, you can see me and Jarrett probably have like 11 or 12 wins. Because he won last week at Watkins Glen. This will be our what, eighth win of the season. We go through three and four, whatever nine. 99 Sitco for Taurus. Coming through the straightaway to take win number eight of the season. Jeff Burton will win the Pepsi 400 at Michigan International Speedway. We will sweep Michigan. Absolutely awesome. Look at that. The leader, look at second place. We seven seconds ahead of Sterling Marlin. Absolutely awesome, folks. So we sweep Michigan. We sweep Michigan. Eighth win of the year. This has been a mid to late 90s Jeff Gordon type of season, except we're not going to win the championship more than likely. Burn it down. So this will be their last trip to Michigan, unfortunately. So good at it. So good here. The setup we're using is absolutely amazing. And that's a victory for everyone in the 99 team. Tearing it up. Tearing it up, folks. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. There were only a few new changes. So, we get that win. That'd be wait win number eight of the season. That would be what win number ten for Roush at least. And I think that'd be like what win thirteen or fourteen for Ford as a whole. Crazy. So, we said we are going to win Michigan, and we did it. And we got Richmond coming up, which was the same uh, type of, you know, race that happened in the spring. We, we went out there and dominated all night long. Call, call final and pole dominated. And that was the start of, you know, most of our wins was that uh, that race. It, that, it, sorry about that, the word vomit. But that race in Richmond that night. Uh, but, yeah, it, 
pretty exciting stuff. Whew. Here we go. Victory lane again in Michigan. Man, if we could have used the same setup at California, let me tell you, we would have swept everything. We would have literally been Kyle Larson. Wow. So the number 99, sick go forward. Victory Lane once again, man. We have put this car eight times in Victory Lane. Seven times with the same paint scheme. And we win again. It's awesome. This car, it, it's its really fast. When it's fast, it is fast, man. It is fast. But when it's not, it's not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we, we win the Pepsi 400 at Michigan International Speedway. Absolutely awesome. Awesome job, everyone on the team. Whew. You know, we had two bad weeks and uh, Watkins win and uh, the Brickyard 400, but hey, we, don't, we go out there and win. Of course, the points leader finishes second. He qualified second. I qualified first. I finished first. So we didn't gain literally maybe five points on him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we literally gained five points a whopping five points on Marlin. Wow. So we, we just cannot get around him in the point standings, but Dale Jarrett Started 23rd, moved away up. And Bobby Labonte, Martin, 29th. He got back in the top 10. So Jeff Gordon, 30th. So a lot of guys qualified bad. And they worked their way up to the front. Whew, that one. How many laps did we lead? This, uh, 16 laps. This this race has been... This is awesome. You know, another win for the team. We really needed that. We're going to, what, Bristol next? Yeah, Bristol... I have no clue how we're going to run there. Or no, is it Bristol or the Southern Five? No, it's Southern Five Hundred, I think. Is it? I have no clue where we're going to next. <laughs> I, I think it's Bristol, though. Oh my goodness, this has been awesome. Uh, I have no clue where we're going to next. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like below. If you want to see more content, please subscribe to Diecast Buffet. We post a lot of cool stuff over here on the channel. We're a small but growing YouTube channel, but we need all the help we can get. So please subscribe. Also. Go follow me on Instagram if you like. I post a lot of cool NASCAR stuff about custom diecast, recent builds, stuff like that. Upcoming YouTube videos. So please go follow me over there. Anyway, though, I'll be having a great one. Thank you all so much for watching.